welcome to another of my conquest guides. Today I'll be showcasing how to get these Sector 5 boss feats, Galactic Emperor, which requires us to win the battle with Emperor Palpatine and Darth Talon surviving, and the Hokie Religions feat, which requires us to win without using any Force users. Before I go over the strategies, a brief word on the difficulty. The SWGOH Events Discord server has reported that the stat boost for this node is currently at 60% when it should be at 90%. This means the current speed, health, protection and offense are lower than intended, thus may get fixed by next conquest. However, due to my strategy relying on health based damage, it shouldn't affect my first lineup too much. My second lineup will probably have to be adjusted for next conquest if it gets fixed, but I'll explain more further in the video. So for the Galactic Emperor feat, I'm running Bam Lead with Chewie, Watt and the required characters Palpatine and Talon. One of the key mechanics that makes Malgus so lethal is the automatic application of undispellable fear when knocking one of Malgus's allies below 50% health. If not controlled properly, the battle can soon go south and may require a restart. The workaround to this is quite simple though. Simply take out all of his allies in one turn. And there's no better character to do this than Chewie. With a volatile accelerator and decoupled amplify agony discs, and with his unique dealing 20% health based damage each time he damages an enemy, Chewie can produce some huge damage. So to pull this off, we'll need an initial frenzy tech that Watt will trigger by giving Chewie the tank tech, a volatile accelerator, a couple amplify agony, a voluntary vanguard, and an ability exhaust data disc. Next, before Chewie can use his AoE, Bastilla's foresight needs to be removed. To do this, Palpatine, having his frenzy triggered by Watt, should immediately go after Watt's initial bonus turn and use his AoE. This means Palpatine should be modded faster than Chewie and Bando. Once Palpatine has used his AoE and removed Bastilla's foresight, Bando should go second and go into Discipline Setup, thus should be modded second fastest. Chewie should then go third and use his AoE. If you have a blue Volatile Accelerator and at least two blue-green Amplify Agony Discs, or a green Volatile Accelerator and three Amplify Agony Discs, his AoE should take out all of Malgus's allies in one go. This will trigger Malgus's lead and inflict fear on your team. This then allows Malgus to take his first turn and an immediate bonus turn due to the enemy modifier. He will use his second special, Dark Deception. This ability deals damage equal to 40% of Malgus's max health. Depending on who he's targeting, the damage can be in the range of 170 to 190k. If Malgus unloads this ability on Chewie or Bando, you may need to restart, but you can guarantee he targets Watt if you have a voluntary vanguard disc equipped and Watt is the strongest, that is, he has the most health and protection. Consider stamina when assessing who's the strongest. Also, at this point in the battle, Watt isn't required, so he can be sacrificed to Malgus. Once Watt is down, simply hit full auto. The huge amount of dots inflicted by Volatile Accelerator will ensure Malgus has ability block due to the ability exhaust disc for the remainder of the battle, ensuring Malgus doesn't get to use Dark Deception again. Furthermore, the huge amount of debuffs Bando and Chewie inflict Paired with the Amplify Agony Discs, guarantees over 75% turn meter on every basic, allowing those two to stay ahead of Malgus for the majority of the battle. So that should be this feat wrapped up. Next up, Hokie Religions. For this feat, I opted for full Bad Batch. Using the same discs as my previous battle, Echo's second special, Never Any Doubt, is devastating, inflicting a huge amount of debuffs. Once Echo has opened up with his debuffs, the enemies will then take their turns and die off one by one. This will trigger Malgus's fear. He will then take his first turn, then a bonus turn and unload his Dark Deception ability, which Wrecker, assuming he's at at least Relic 4-5, will shrug off thanks to his massive amounts of protection. After that, Ability Exhaust will keep Malgus locked down once again, so he can chip away at his health until dead. For this first battle, I had a 16% speed boost tech equipped. This isn't required. My next battle demonstrates what happens when the enemy goes first. The result is the same. 
Echo debuffs the enemy, they die off, Margus gets his turns and dies shortly after. In my final battle, I subbed Omega for what, removed my voluntary vanguard disc and had no tech equipped. Again, the battle goes the same way as my previous ones. Regarding mods, primarily Echo should be loaded up on speed and Rekka should get as much protection as you can spare. There's not much more to say on this lineup, if you have any questions, ask below or find me on Discord. Till the next video.